Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here doing another unboxing video. I'm quite excited about this one and you will see what it is after I open it up. Okay, so it is... Oh, still doesn't tell you what it is. Okay, I bought this off... Uh... Amazon Prime for I think 230 I'll confirm that in the actual video but it's something around $230 let's see what this is a Seagate hard drive okay warranty okay let's open it up that's it uh, anything else in, in the box? No, nothing else in the box. Just a hard drive. Okay, so this is not an SSD. Okay, it's not the fastest hard drive. But I am only using it to back up my files. So I'm not really running any programs or anything. So it's 8 gigabytes. Okay, a very big hard drive. Okay, Seagate Barracuda hard drive, 8 terabytes. Huge. Absolutely huge hard drive. So I'm now going to look at putting this on my computer. You can see it's got a um, SATA cable, SATA power slot. Okay, so should be good. Let's see if it fits in my computer. I've already got... Um, three hard drives, so let's see if it'll fit a fourth one. Okay, so this is my computer. I realize that it's going to be very confusing because I haven't cable tied anything. But basically, these are the two hard drives that I already have. My third hard drive is an M2, which is on the motherboard. And I'm just going to take off my graphics card so you can see how my two hard drives are connected to my motherboard. So I'm going to unscrew the screw here to take off my uh, graphics card. But obviously you don't have to take it off. I'm just taking it off to show you um, how it connects to my... Um, where the cables are for the hard drive, so I'm going to take this out. Push, sorry, push that down. Okay, there, the, there was that little hook. Have to push that down to pull out my graphics card. Okay, so now my graphics card is gone, which will help you understand um, where to put the hard drive. See, this hard drive has a red SATA cable and this cable which I'm pulling is connected to my motherboard over here all right and my other hard drive also so my bigger hard drive hard drive um, HHD which is only one terabyte is also connected to my motherboard via the SATA cable so the same thing has to happen with my new hard drive it needs a SATA cable to connect to my motherboard. Another thing that it needs is this power cable. The power cable comes from um, the power supply. Okay, so this one single cable powers this hard drive, powers this hard drive, and connects back to my uh, heart, uh, my power supply. So it has an extra slot here, which means I can connect this to my new hard drive. So I'm simply going to need another SATA cable, which I have. Here's another SATA cable. So when you buy this hard drive, you need your own SATA cable. And I noticed it didn't come with screws. 
which is a bit annoying so you also need your own hard drive screws not sure where you would get that from because i just i'm just going to use some old screws okay so here's a new hard drive so i'm going to position it like this all right push it in over here So you can see I've pushed it in so that the two holes over here allows me to screw them in. Okay, so I can put some screws in there. So I'm going to use slightly smaller screws than the screws for the graphics card, just so that it doesn't damage the hard drive. Okay, these are smaller screws. Don't screw it in too hard. Okay, then what I need is I need to connect this hard drive to the motherboard. So again, a SATA cable, just like this, okay, and you need to do the same thing to the power cable, so here is the power cable, the power cable also needs to be slotted into the hard drive, so that just goes below. Actually, I might take this off so you can see it. It's going to go over here. Okay. And put this in on the motherboard. Okay, and put this back in as well. Okay, so each hard drive is now connected to my motherboard and also connected to the power supply. Okay, I'm just gonna screw the other side to make sure they're all screwed in. Actually, I should put my graphics card back. Otherwise, my computer is going to be... I won't be able to play any games with it. Without the graphics card, it can't play any games. Okay, so here's the other side of my PC. So that's it. Let's turn on the computer, see what happens. Hey guys, so I have now turned on the computer and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like in my computer. Okay, in um, File Explorer, and you can see that my new hard drive, which is 8 gigabytes or 8 terabytes, has not shown up. Okay, and you're probably panicking, thinking, whoa, what happened? Did I screw up or something? But all you have to do is you're going to search for Disk Management. Disk Management. Okay, search for that. And it tells you straight away, you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it, okay? 
and there is disk three and use the following partition style so um let's just use i guess this would be the uh, the newer one gpt is uh required because this space uh the hard drive space is bigger than two terabytes so you have to choose gpt if it's bigger than two terabytes in my case it's eight terabytes so definitely needed there okay so now you can see if i scroll down a bit disk three unallocated okay so now i'm going to right click on that new simple volume so it can partition into a new um simple volume simple volume size and megabytes okay so i'm just going to put um actually eight terabytes in one um all in one drive it's probably a bit too big okay it's a bit too big so so because this is only a backup drive and i don't really see the point in having multiple drives at the moment i'm just going to leave it click next uh, assign the drive letter f okay um i don't really want to uh what was my usb drive letter just let me okay so i can probably do f i'll do f because it doesn't really interfere with what i have already let's do f ntfs new volume eight terabyte hard drive Now, I'm not going to do compression because I don't want to slow down my hard drive. It's only a HDD, so probably don't want it to be too slow. Finish. There you go. Okay, a new hard drive. F. F. How big is F? Right click. Properties. 7.27 terabytes. Okay, so that is uh, installing a new hard drive. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.